Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a recipe for this delicious herb chicken soup. I actually make this quite often for my family. It's a really delicious and simple soup. I will tell you guys up front that I don't precisely measure everything um, when I make the soup. In fact, it's a little bit different when I make it each time because I don't always have the fresh herbs that I like to put in it. For instance, I don't have any fresh basil this time. I did have some when I had it growing in my garden, but that's <laughs> gone now. My garden is actually um, slowly dying off. But I am going to be using dried herbs instead of fresh because I don't have any of those this time. So first I'm going to saute my chicken breast in a little bit of butter and olive oil. I did season it with a little bit of salt. I'm going to add a little black pepper and some other seasonings um, as the chicken cooks and as I add in new ingredients. Next I've added in my diced onion and this is about a half of a really large onion. So I'm going to just kind of let that saute and get a little bit soft before I add in any more vegetables. What you see here is about five stalks of celery sliced and one whole medium to large red bell pepper. I'm going to add that to my pot and just kind of let that saute and get soft for a few minutes as well. I'm actually going to cover this for a little bit and let the vegetables steam and sort of sweat a little bit. Then I'll come back and show you guys the next step. Now I'm seasoning with salt, pepper, and this dried herb blend of basil, oregano, sage, marjoram, rosemary, and thyme. You want to give that a good mix and just let that hang out in the pot for a few minutes. Next I'm adding in five to six large carrots. I'm going to give that a good mix and just kind of let that hang out in the pot for a little bit before I add in my next vegetable. Next I've added 9 to 11 small to medium potatoes. Um, we do like a lot of potatoes in our soup. If you don't like as much, you can use fewer potatoes. Um, if you like more, you can actually put in a few more potatoes. And that, the same thing goes for the carrots. However, I was trying to make enough soup for leftovers and this did make a pretty nice sized pot of soup. All right, so you wanna mix in your potatoes really, really well with all of the rest of the ingredients. Get them all incorporated and just kinda of let them hang out and cook in the pot for a few minutes. And then you're gonna add in some minced garlic. Go ahead and mix that around as well and just get the garlic just kind of incorporated. Now I'm adding in some chicken bone broth. If you don't have bone broth, you can substitute with chicken stock or chicken broth or whatever you have on hand. You wanna pour in just enough to cover the top of the vegetables. Now I am making this to be sort of a, an in-between soup and stew consistency. Once those potatoes kind of cook down and some of them get a little bit softer than others, they will help to sort of break down into the broth and add some thickness to the soup. Next, I'm gonna add in some bay leaves just to give it a little extra flavor. I'm gonna cover my pot, bring the soup to a boil, and then let it simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. While that's cooking, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I made the biscuits that we had to go with the soup. This biscuit recipe is not my recipe. I will link the original recipe down in the box for you. However, I did make a few tweaks to the way that she has prepared these biscuits. So you guys can watch my video and see how I make them. And you can go and try the original recipe and see which one you like the best. First, in this mixing bowl, I've added flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and a little bit of sugar. And then with a fork, I just mix it all together. You could use a whisk for this as well. Because I wanted to make herbed Parmesan biscuits, I added some dried oregano, and dried thyme, as well as about three-fourths cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I mix that all together to get it really incorporated into the dried mixture. And then I'm gonna set this to the side and get to work on my next ingredient. So for this recipe, you really want some cold butter, really, really cold butter. 
like in the freezer cold butter. Um, and you need about two sticks, which is about a cup, eight ounces of butter. To incorporate this into the flour mixture, you're gonna either need a pastry cutter, two forks, a fork and a knife, or you can do what I did, which is grate the butter. I grated it into really fine butter, and it's still actually pretty cold at this point, but you wanna do this as fast as possible, and then just like take your fork and mix it around into the flour mixture, and then you're gonna add in your next ingredient. The next step is to add in two cups of buttermilk. I have substituted kefir for the buttermilk. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I really love substituting organic grass-fed kefir in the place of buttermilk wherever I can in my recipes. And these biscuits turned out so delicious. All right, so you wanna mix this up until it is very loosely um, incorporated, very loosely sort of holding together. I'm gonna turn this out onto my work surface. I'm gonna bring it together with my hands really gently. I don't wanna um, mess with it too much. I just wanna take it and sort of pat it and just sort of um, press it together until I have something that resembles this. And as you can see, it is really com sort of compact together. I've actually used my rolling pin to sort of roll it out a little bit smoother. And then I took my hands and sort of like um, neatly compressed the sides together. And you can still see that there's like pretty large pieces of butter in the dough, which is what you want because that's what's going to cause that delicious sort of fluffiness in the middle of your biscuits. These are actually about an inch thick. If you guys can see, I've actually rolled them out to about an inch thick. And next I'm gonna use this mason jar to cut them out. I don't have a biscuit cutter or anything like that. So I'm just gonna use this small mason jar. You do wanna add a little bit of flour to make sure that they don't stick, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out and then I'll come back and show you guys what they look like on the tray and what the next step is. I've added a little bit of buttermilk to the top of each one of these biscuits. As you can see, there are two little biscuits in there that are significantly smaller than the other biscuits, but because they're all the same, thickness, they'll still take about the same amount of time to cook. I did forget to add some garlic to my dried mixture. So what I did was I added a little bit of garlic powder into the buttermilk before I brushed the tops of these biscuits. And let me tell you guys, oh my goodness, did it add so much flavor to these biscuits. These biscuits came out so delicious and so buttery. But I'm gonna go ahead and like throw these in the freezer while the soup is cooking. And once the soup is done and the biscuits are done, I'm gonna go ahead and come back and show you guys what everything looks like together. These are gonna bake in the oven about 18 to 20 minutes at 375 degrees. And you do wanna watch these because everybody's oven is different, so it may take a little bit less. It may take a little bit longer for your biscuits to cook, but you wanna cook them until they are golden brown. All right, guys, this is the finished product. Oh my goodness. These biscuits and this soup smell absolutely wonderful. All I did was I added a little bit of parsley to finish the soup off in the pot. Um, I ladled it into our bowls and then I just sprinkled a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top and this was absolutely delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put them in the box below and I will see you in my next video.